Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I mentioned on the haul when I got this video that I, I mean this uh, kit that I wanted to make a video opening it. Some of you might might not have got to experience a metal diecast metal model. And what's it all about? Is the whole thing metal? Because <clears throat> if you'll go on on um, you'll go on eBay and you'll search metal models. Most of them that are going to come up was testers back in the I think the 90s testers produced or somebody testers boxed at least a bunch of metal models opening doors and things like that but they looked more like a die cast kit or a die cast car rather than a true model kit this is not a representation of that this is an actual model that has the body molded in metal i have built a metal kit let me grab it real fast i didn't even think about that it's right above us here if I don't break something by trying to do it, I haven't picked it up. It's really heavy. I built one of these early on in the YouTube history. It's a Duesenberg kit, and it's mo it's metal. It was also a monogram. Um, super heavy. Uh, this one had quite a bit of difficulty. You could imagine. Oops. You could imagine the uh, trying to glue plastic parts to metal. Um, you 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 don't use thin. You know, you don't use thin Tamiya to do it. But anyway, um, this is what that's what this is. Big heavy Duesenberg. But this this uh, Corvette kit, which is cool because 53 being the first release of the uh, the Corvette. I, I like them. I think they're cool. They got the screens over the glass or the uh, windows. I'm, I can't even talk. Screens over the headlights. Good looking car still had kind of some fins on the back of it you know with that 50s theme early 50s um, so we're going to open it up and check it out and i want to show you just exactly um, what this looks like and i want to build this kit 53 vet by monogram 1977 kit number 6100 124 scale i don't think there's anything significant in the instructions it's a typical monogram kit other than the body is made from metal um, it does give you some uh, uh, tips on because it's metal. What's metal? I mean, in here, these whoever bought this from did a great job. They had the, the uh, windows and everything inside this to protect them. Thank you, whoever I bought this from on eBay. So you, when you open it up, you're like, oh, this is a this is a plastic kit because you have all the parts are except the body in plastic. And so there's no, it's not like you're getting some foreign, out of this world um, model kit. You're getting an actual plastic model kit. There's the interior. Really nice. The bottom of the seats have like a, a lot of definition. Engine compartment, got the built-in battery. There's the hood. There's a part that's in the bag still. The, don't throw your bags away, buddy. If you open one up, you better make sure that the bag's empty. There's the monogram uh, copyright. Here is the chassis. So it doesn't have a metal chassis. It's got a plastic chassis. There's your six cylinder uh, engine. The typical um, drive it on the right or the left. That's what it always reminded me of that in a 57 Chevy. They always had the had the dashboards. It's like you put the steering wheel on the either, either side, but they were identical looking dashboard radio and all that stuff in there here's the inner door hand door panels suspension parts exhaust really nice there's your rear differential right here here's the rear uh, plate for the differential front suspension uh, other parts radiator big valve cover chrome tree really nice I was wondering if it had the screens that went across the uh, the headlights but I don't know if it does or not it does have a I'm not sure what what that is it looks like a valve cover but it can't be because the valve covers over here and it's in plastic or it's in a it's red I don't know there's your carburetors grill uh, window frame and all those things bumper it's 
and the tires with with white walls and now here's the body still in its little bread package that's what it looks like we'll take it out and check it out I wonder if I'm the first guy to take this out of the package so this thing is really heavy and ta-da it even has let's see if I can zoom in on that Got Chevrolet molded into the metal. Oh boy, this thing will take quite a bit of sanding. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, uh, this so there's some flash. <coughs> Excuse me again. My battery's about to go dead on my camera, so if it does, I'll just pop a new battery in and go from there. So heavy. It's very thick. Look at this. this is so thick but it uh it would take a little cleaning up i remember on the duesenberg around the edges <coughs> excuse me i am still battling sin or sinus and allergies there are some huge huge flash under here that you would have to to get a file to um some body parting lines that would need to be taken care of um so they don't you're not going to sand this stuff right off with like a your regular sanding you probably take a file to it but all in all it's got great lines defined um it's got your windshield wipers are built in um just unique i'd like to see one of these at a show maybe i should build this one <coughs> excuse me again to take to a show it does have a screw on uh a, a chassis um my battery's about to die i'll be right back all right, so now I was going to show you the hood as well. It looks when you look at it like it looks real, almost looks rough, but really it's it's pretty darn smooth. I would take a like a really uh, here's some 600. So here's a 600 grit. Um, Hit it with that oh yeah oh yeah that smooths right up nice so you could once you got the um the main flash like out of there which a lot of that stuff's thin see how thin that is um this could you could take a file just hit it with a file right there get rid of that same with these and then take that six hundred thousand whatever you had and just kind of I mean you can really hit it hard because you're not going to you're not going to go through it so I think this is a cool because it's unique <laughs> and I'm weird like that it's like if it's different that's what I want I was never the guy in school that that like wanted the the, the trend I, I always wanted something different and that's I'm just that way I'm still that way with model kits and everything else um, if the majority goes one way, I'm probably going to run the opposite direction. Um, but this is neat. Um, I do plan on building this kit. Um, it's going to look great. And I think like a model show, when someone picks it up, they'll be, what the heck? Because it'll be, it's made out of metal. And I think maybe that could uh, also draw more attention if they knew it was metal. Um, but still a built model kit. That, that, could, that could, you know, could be very cool. But anyway yeah no problem cleaning that up it's got the uh, nice really nice little um, period correct uh, bias ply tires that would get you killed so those look nice and it has those inserts the white wall inserts so that would look really nice but anyway, and like I said, it does screw to the uh, the chassis does screw up. It's got flathead screws in it, so you know it's old. Oh, there is a lens. Okay, so there's my question answered. I said, I wonder if it has the screens. I'm trying to get this thing zoomed in. There we go. It does have the screens, but there is no way you can get in there and paint those. So basically, it's just a light lens. 
which you know kind of stinks I wish it had some sort of like photo etched um, grills that would go over that but it doesn't that's okay anyway guys thank you for watching this video I wanted to again show you the unboxing of the die cast metal 53 Corvette and its cousin the die cast metal Duesenberg which I did a video on that just way back I appreciate you guys watching these um, I'm not the biggest on doing unboxing videos but sometimes it's like that's pretty cool I want to show that to someone maybe you have not built a, a metal don't be afraid of it if you, especially the monogram ones now that one that one was a little that was a little difficult this one had uh, around the exhaust where they come out of the body the hood comes off of this by the way look at there but um and it has a really nice detailed engine paint jobs not that great I had not discovered MCW paint yet but um, I had a I had, yeah it, it's it's a model kit okay so it did build up oops whatever that was just fell off but it, it made a nice model kit and it it's, uh, looks good up on the shelf but if, don't be afraid of that name when it says metal because it's, it's still a, a, a good model kit and you'll have fun building one. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. If you hadn't subscribed already, hit the subscription button along with the thumbs up. Appreciate it if you'd like this video. Hey, check out Hobby Nut Models. Get you some MCW paint that I didn't use on this one and it would have looked much better if I had. Get some MCW paint, spray your model with it, be impressed. Um, enjoy it, have it on the shelf with that nice shine. Also, any other things you need to uh, uh, buy for your model hobby, uh, model car hobby, they're, they're at Hobby Nut Models. He also sells planes and tanks and things like that too. But who's interested in that stuff? But anyway, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for going to the Facebook group and joining. If you hadn't, go join Teespring Store, link in the description. Patreons, thank you so much for your support. Link in the descriptions, and we will see you on the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.